When we think of England, we think of Big Ben, the royal family, fish and chips, and London's infamous bridge. But like everywhere, there's another layer beneath the surface we all see in pictures and travel vlogs and documentaries. England is rich in haunted stories, mysteries, and of course, murders and serial killers. Today's show is one of those stories, a story of sex, cannibalism, and a string of brutal murders, murders that shocked everyone when the truth finally came out. The Bradford Murders, the Stephen Giffith story. <laughs> Stephen was born Christmas Eve of 1969 in Drewsbury, West Riding of Yorkshire. For almost all of his life, Stephen had a dream of becoming a serial killer, something that would later be brought up would be his mother. She was rumored to be a prostitute and would often be seen naked in their garden with men. Many said Stephen held an unhealthy contempt for her and thus lived out of that anger later in his life. At the age of 17, he had attacked a man trying to cut his throat and briefly served a three-year sent prison sentence, turning abusive in relationships to the point many women he had dated later said they feared for their lives. In 2001, after wearing, ending a relationship, Stefan became obsessed and began stalking his former girlfriend, constantly calling, leaving threatening messages, and laughing maniacally while threatening he would kill her. It had been said Stefan was obsessed with serial killers and that his apartment displayed books, violent tapes, and numerous items, all centered around infamous killers. However, out of all of them, the one he idolized the most was Peter Sutcliffe, who was known in Yorkshire as the Yorkshire Ripper. Sutcliffe was kill, had killed 13 women during the years of 1975 through 1980. For five years, Peter was one of England's most brutal and infamous serial killers, Peter suffered paranoid schizophrenia and was sentenced to 20 life sentences. He, he is still in prison to this very day. Many of his victims were sex workers and many said his crimes were Stefan drew his twisted crimes from. From 1992 through 2009, Stefan would commit numerous crimes from harassment to holding a knife to a young woman's throat. But in June of 2009, he would take the final step and make his twisted dreams a reality. When Stefan headed for the red light district of Bradford and picked up a sex worker on the night of June 22nd, Susan Rushworth vanished without a trace. It would be silent for a brief period until he once again got the itch to venture out braver this time due to not being caught for his previous victim's murder. Once again, he ventured to the red light district and on April 26, 2010, Shelley Armitage vanished into the night's air. She was last seen on CCTV footage near the Bradford City area. Many believe those were the final moments before she was lured by Stefan back to his apartment. On May 21, 2010, he would claim the life of his final victim, Susan Blamiers. CCTV footage 
as well as cameras in the elevator of Stefan's apartment captured Susan and him walking together, talking, and appearing normal. Before they entered the building, rode the elevator, and walked down the hall to his apartment. Moments later, cameras in the hallway would capture Susan rushing out of Stefan's apartment, running for her life, with Susan with Stefan chasing behind her with a crossbow. While on the footage, while the footage has never been made public, the caretaker of the apartment building recounted to police the horrible scene that unfolded. Susan was shot by Stefan's crossbow and dragged back into his apartment. After some time, Stefan returned to the hallway, holding the crossbow and stuck his middle finger up to the camera before returning inside to dismember Susan's body like he had done with his last two victims. Stefan would later confess he turned his bathroom into a slaughterhouse, bleeding out the women before chopping their bodies up and cooking pieces of them before dumping what pieces he didn't want in the nearby river. A few days later, some of Susan's remains would be found in the river where Stefan would dump his victim's remains. Tools as well as tissue from one of the previous victims was also found at the scene. Authorities determined Susan had died by a crossbow to the head before dismembered. Stefan was arrested and in court showed no remorse whatsoever for the horrible crimes he had committed. He told authorities he killed more than three women, but this has never been proven. While in court, Stefan dubbed himself the crossbow cannibal, telling how he had eaten parts of the women after killing them. He was sentenced to life in prison during his time in prison. He has tried six times to commit suicide and went on a hunger strike for a period of time. In 2019, Stefan was attacked by a fellow inmate with a wooden stake and stabbed in his chest. He survived and was later returned to prison to serve the remainder of his sentence. People have often wondered why he did these things. Was it his sick obsession with killers that drove him to it? Was he just a violent man who was hiding behind his obsession and hoping to blame on someone else? Did it give him some sick pleasure, or was it punishment his his mother in some punishing his mother in some odd revenge by doing what he did? No one will ever know. We're just left with questions and with our theories as to why. Thank you all so much for listening. If you have any recommendations, please feel free to comment or contact me. I'm on all social media, and they are all linked on the page. Please feel free to leave a like and rate the review if you enjoy the show. I'd love to hear from you guys as well as your thoughts on the case. Please be respectful to the parties involved, and until next time, take care.